Hi, how do you welcome back? This is your first time here. Feel free to reach down and like, hit like. If this is not your first time here, feel free to reach down and subscribe, then like, whatever makes you comfortable. Now, if you can't tell by the title of today's videos, we're gonna look at some samples. And I know that seems like a total rando thing to do, but if you order from Sephora enough for certain other makeup companies, they automatically give you the option of samplers at the exit. Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's two Sephora. You get the deluxe plus two smaller samplers. Like I never end up without samplers. I have bags and bags of samplers. In fact, I've started giving away a lot of the samplers to friends and family, you name it. But some of the stuff I have kept because I was curious to try myself. We're gonna look at two tonight. One is called Lord Jones High CBD Formula Body Lotion. I tried this the other night. I decided to go through my samplers and try everything. I want to work my way through them because sometimes it's a really good way to find a product you're going to like or going to end up using regularly. So I'm not against samplers. I am against this. Like, you know that weird skunky smell that goes with hemp and weed? That is all this smells like. Like it is so strong. It smells like dirty armpit meets a sock. It was so gross. Like I put it on because I had some tattoo work done recently. I put it on as a lotion for some of the tattoo work and it, skin sucked it up. It went in real good. It moisturized wonderfully. Like I can't even complain. The way the lotion sank in and just fully absorbed was beautiful. It was glorious. I couldn't get past the stench. I ended up standing there and washing my arm like three times to get the smell down enough that I could go to sleep because the smell was so strong I made my entire bathroom smell like that. Like that weird skunky smell. Like I will not be finishing this. I'm gonna see if anybody else I know wants it because it is really good lotion. Like I was surprised at how well it sunk in and how soft it made my skin feel in just a matter of like two minutes. It, it did amazing, but I couldn't get past the stink. Like it was bad. And I have smelled weed and I have grown hemp. It was supposed to be in a soil amendment. It did wonders, but my neighbor got a little worried, so we ended up just getting rid of it. <laughs> Whatever. Like it was not pot. Let's be clear, not pot. It was hemp. Bees love it. I was trying to bring pollinators to my garden, so I put it in a section of my garden. I let go fallow in an attempt to help amend the soil. The bees went crazy. I got an amazing cucumber crop that year, and the neighbor freaked the F out. But the smell when we burned it and got rid of it and burned it is this. Like it is bad. So I can guarantee you I will never ever buy Lord Jones' body lotion with the high CBD. I do know a lady who will probably use this, so I'm gonna give it to her. The next sampler I tried was this. It's by Youth to the People Kombucha Plus 11% AHA Exfoliating Power Toner. Now this is a deluxe sample if I've ever seen one. Look at the size of this thing. This is the sample. This is huge. This is 15 milliliters, half a fluid ounce. Like this is actually a massive sampler. Okay. I would never buy this. Never. And for the same reason, it has a scent. I was not anticipating this. Now, anybody who is wearing a mask in our today, looking like Bane while working at Walmart or Myers or Walgreens, you know, just has got acne, is getting what's referred to lovingly as mask knee. Yeah, not fun. Getting frustrated. And at my age, I should not have this much of a breakout, but what are you gonna do? Working on it. So I ended up with a large breakout here from the mask. And I was like, oh God, I look like a 12 year old teenager, this sucks. So I pulled this out and I figured I'll try this as a power toner on evenings because it's supposed to be really good. It says, at night, apply to the face and neck. So I was like, okay. Not a problem, let's try it. It smells like kombucha. Like there's a difference between drinking kombucha and not having to smell it when you're done and wearing kombucha on your face. That kind of tart, sour scent that goes with kombucha all over your face. Now, I wore it as long as I could handle the smell. It was about 20 minutes. I'm not gonna lie though, the next morning, like I rinsed it off with water. I did not wash, I did not use soap, but I rinsed it off with water to get the smell down. The next morning, this was almost non-existent. 
this cleared up really well. Like it did beautifully. So if you are fighting with acne, I would say give this a definite try as a toner. If you're sensitive to smells, just bypass. Just, just walk away. You're not gonna like this smell. It smells like kombucha when you break the bottle on the floor on accident. You're not gonna want it. So if you drink kombucha and you're fine with the smell, give this a whirl, seriously. If you, you, are, if you have a dead nose, give it a whirl. But this has black tea, yeah, it's kombucha, and tree bark. It smells like kombucha on your face, really strongly. Like, I, even after 20, 30 minutes, I could not shake the smell, but I have a really strong nose. But it did wonders for the maskiny spots. So I guess it was a double-edged sword. Like, I wouldn't pay for it just because the smell alone just tried to kill me. But if you are desperate to address the maskiny and nothing else is working, I would suggest giving it a whirl, honestly. Okay, as those samplers go, I've discovered two new objects I will probably never buy. <laughs> okay, definitely never buy. Okay, guys, are there any products that you've tried that you just wouldn't buy? Why? What was the reasoning? Did you discover them as a sampler or did you buy them full size and then regret it? Am I the only person that has this urge to go through all of the samplers they put in for? Like, I feel like a low grade hoarder with samplers. Like I have a little, a bag of samplers and I have given at least one of my friends like two decent sized boxes of just samplers. So many samplers. Okay, let me know what you guys think. I can't be the only one that's hoarding samplers or trying to go through them. I need a haircut so bad. My hair is greasy. Uh, it's, it's greasy. Natural blonde, but when it gets greasy, it looks gross. See, look, let's get the lighting closer. See, blonde. All the way through and through. I'm a blonde. It's just, this is frustrating the piss out of me. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. Remember, stay safe. Social distancing, wash your hands, wear your face mask. Remember, be nice to your essential employees. Thanks, have a good one, and leave some comments down below for me.